innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Take your outdoor fun to the next level with the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino and Resort. You could win a Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Grand Prize Can-Am Defender will be drawn at 8 p.m. on October 30th. Just use your Gold Club card while playing to qualify to enter to win. Details at GrandRiverCasino.com. Take it outside with a brand new Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino. It's time to ride. Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something in common. The desire to maximize their land and improve it for the next generation. You need a cooperative that offers peace of mind. Agtegra Cooperative is an ag partner that shares your values and is part of your community. From agronomy and grain operations to energy and feed, Agtegra will link your farm to the future. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Mac Theater and Pheasant Drive-In, your family-owned and operated movie theater bringing you the new release movies at an affordable price. Stop by the concession stand for the best hot buttered popcorn, cherry snow cones, cherry cokes, pretzels, and a wide variety of candy. Find the showtimes on Facebook or call 605-845-9240. Open Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. and 4 p.m. on... Stop in to Hagel's service before or after the game to gas up your vehicle and grab all the snacks you're going to need. You'll find cold and microwavable sandwiches, candy, soda, seeds, chips, and all sorts of other drinks. Hagel's service in Fort Yates, a proud supporter of all surrounding community youth athletics and activities. Hagel's service, family owned since 2007. Stop in, gas up, and grab those snacks. Looking for a new way to enjoy the outdoors this fall? Grand River Casino has your answer with the Grand Outdoors giveaway going on now. You could win a brand new Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. on October 16th and 30th. You could be going home with the Grand Prize Can-Am Defender on October 30th. Take your outdoor fun to the next level at Grand River. You could be hitting the trails in a Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors. It's time to ride your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Acres Ahead is back with Agtegra Cooperative. Now is the time to secure product, lock in early season prices, and receive delayed payment terms on your agronomy inputs. Fertilizer, seed, and crop protection purchases from Acres Ahead also qualify for triple play grain premiums, diesel discounts, and feed discounts. Contact your local Agtegra agronomist to learn more on how Acres Ahead can maximize your farm's earning potential straight from the start. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable. Food and fun at the Chuck Wagon in McLaughlin on Main Street. They've been a family-owned business since 2015. They have all of your favorites. And 
can check out their daily specials on Facebook. And Chuck Wagon is accepting all school purchase orders for food for team meals for players, coaches, and bus drivers when they come to McLaughlin or surrounding teams that are passing through. Chuck Wagon, a proud supporter of local athletics and activities on Main Street in McLaughlin, 605-823-4748. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Yates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post-game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Rock Energy in Fort Yates. Call them at 701-854-7471. Rock Energy, proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Olson Heating and Air is here for you 24-7 for all your heating and cooling needs. John has been servicing the Bone Bridge and surrounding areas for the last 12 years. John works on furnaces, air conditioners, garage heaters, water heaters, fireplaces, and more. He is certified to work on natural gas and propane. John can help with the design and build of a new home system or a remodel of your current system. Give John a call at 605-310-0938 for your servicing needs. Olson Heating and Air, trusted heating and cooling experts serving the Bone Bridge and surrounding areas. Mac Theater and Pheasant Drive-In. Your family-owned and operated movie theater bringing you the new release movies at an affordable price. Stop by the concession stand for the best hot buttered popcorn, cherry snow cones, cherry cokes, pretzels, and a wide variety of candy. Find the showtimes on Facebook or call 605-845-9240. Open Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. and 4 p.m. on Sunday. Mac Theater and Pheasant Drive-In. Stop in to Hagel's service before or after the game to gas up your vehicle and grab all the snacks you're going to need. You'll find cold and microwavable sandwiches, candy, soda, seeds, chips, and all sorts of other drinks. Hagel's service in Fort Yates, a proud supporter of all surrounding community youth athletics and activities. Hagel's service, family owned since 2007. Stop in, gas up, and grab those snacks. Looking for a new way to enjoy the outdoors this fall? Grand River Casino has your answer. With the Grand Outdoors giveaway going on now, you could win a brand new Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. on October 16th and 30th. You could be going home with the Grand Prize Can-Am Defender on October 30th. Take your outdoor fun to the next level at Grand River. You could be hitting the trails in a Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors. It's time to ride your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Acres Ahead is back with AgTegra Cooperative. Now is the time to secure product, lock in early season prices, and receive delayed payment terms on your agronomy inputs. Fertilizer, seed, and crop protection purchases from Acres Ahead also qualify for triple play grain premiums, diesel discounts, and feed discounts. Contact your local AgTegra agronomist to learn more on how Acres Ahead can maximize your farm's earning potential straight from the start. AgTegra Cooperative. Strong. 
stable, dependable. Food and fun at the Chuck Wagon in McLaughlin on Main Street. They've been a family-owned business since 2015. They have all of your favorites. And you can check out their daily specials on Facebook. And Chuck Wagon is accepting all school purchase orders for food for team meals for players, coaches, and bus drivers when they come to McLaughlin or surrounding teams that are passing through. Chuck Wagon, a proud supporter of local athletics and activities on Main Street in McLaughlin, 605-823-4748. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Yates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post-game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Rock Energy in Fort Yates. Call them at 701-854-7471. Rock Energy, proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Olsen Heating and Air is here for you 24-7 for all your heating and cooling needs. John has been servicing the Bone Bridge and surrounding areas for the last 12 years. John works on furnaces, air conditioners, garage heaters, water heaters. Good evening, good evening, sports fans. Welcome to Kelly Sports, brought to you by Live Ticket. Live Ticket TV out of Winter, South Dakota. Joining up with Jonathan Sam and KLND Sports. KLND will be grabbing us momentarily. And uh, I'm looking at the deal, and it looks like we're all right and up, and uh, all the levels are popping, and that's a good sign. We're just about ready to take off. Last I checked, it was about three minutes, about three minutes before I hit the uh, hit the live button. So uh, they're doing the uh, the starting lineups. So let's let's run this down for uh, for uh, Todd County. Start them off. The visitors on the scoreboard: Ray Crow, number one, on number twenty, uh, Cade Valandra, on number twenty-one, Ty Valandra. Uh, number 34, Nupa Redbird. Number 35, Rocky Weedman. Number 44, Drake Espinoza. Number 50, Sequoia Spotted Tail. Number 79, Bryce Redfish. And number 85, Mason Horse Looking. And for Standing Rock Warriors, number 72, Adam Eagle Shield. And number 81, Melvin Lovejoy. Alexio Eagle, number 42. Number 13, Ryan Weddle. Number 10, Leandre Twin. And number nine, George Bradley. 
And number five, Thane the Healer. For the Warriors. And number two, Lance Bradley. We're in number two for Standing Rock. And number one, senior and number one Johnny, Johnny Luger. Let's run down the starting lineup once again for both teams. We're catching up with the uh, the announcer. Number one, Johnny Luger. Number two, Lance Bradley. Number five, Thane the Healer. Uh, number 9, George Bradley. Number 10, Leandre Twin. Number 13, Ryan Weddle. Number 42, Alexio Eagle. Uh, number 81, Melvin Lovejoy. And number 72, Adam Eagleshield. For Todd County, the Todd County Falcons. Number 1, Ray Crow. Number 20, Cade Valandra. Number 21, Ty Valandra. And we'll pause for the uh, flag song. That was the flag song, and now we're going to pause as well for the uh, National Anthem played by Noel Luger on the guitar. Great way to start a football game. The National Anthem played live. Noel Luger showing off her style, showing off her skills. Incredible. We did the starting lineup. I believe we were halfway down the, the starting lineup. We'll start back to the top. Ray Crow, number one for Todd County. Number 20, Cade Valandra. Number 21, Ty Valandra. Number 34, is uh, Rocky Weedman. Number 44, Drake Espinoza. Number 50, uh, Sequoia Spotted Tail. Number 79, Bryce Redfish. And rounding out there, starting lineup, number 85, Mason Horse Looking. We give a shout out to KLND Radio. KLND, we will be grabbing us momentarily and we will be in infinity mode. Live on KLD 89.5 in your FM dial, Little Eagle, South Dakota. Thanks to John at the station. 
And last time I forgot to shout out DJ Short. Shorty at the station got us up and connected last time, and uh, I forgot to shout him out. So I want to make sure we do that tonight. Also, uh, running at the camera, Kelsey is here handling the camera for me tonight, and special thanks to her. And I believe we are up and running, up and connected, and ready to get going. Jonathan Sam live from Standing Rock High School football field. About ready to take off. And it looks like Standing Rock, the Warriors, set to kick off. Ball is up, underway, and covered right there, about the 39, 38-yard line or so by Todd County. You might see my, my passu in the screen. Hey. We're trying to figure out the best way to get this thing. It's got a weird angle up here, and uh, we got the camera set up right in the middle. And there's going to be another pasu over there to the right. If, if you see one, don't be alarmed. We're not being invaded or anything. We're underway. Todd County in their offense will hand off right up the middle into a wall of Warriors. Their first, number 72, Sarge was there. Adam Eagleshield for Standing Rock along with a host of Warriors. A whole pack of Warriors were there. He picked up about four. Two. A long three, we'll call it. Second and eight now. Another handoff right up the middle. Stomping through the middle. Power stepping through. Finally brought down. Big run up the middle for number 35 for Todd County. Number 35, Rocky Weedman. Strong up the middle for the Falcons. Makes it a short third and one, I believe it is. Third and one. Hand off once again, Weedman. Big chunk off the left side. Chopped down by Johnny Luger. Ripped off a whole big old chunk of yards that time for the Falcons. Weedman, number 35, Rocky Weedman. First and 10 now. A quick pitch. Oh, man, dangerous play out there. Quarterback is going to cover it up. Gray Crow. Eagle going to get there. Alexio Eagle touched him down, but that was a pitch out and got a little, little loose with that football. A little wide with the toss. A quick pitch to the left side. Wound up on the ground, and that was a live ball. A loss of a whole bunch. A loss of seven. Second and 17 now for the Falcons. Handoff once again to Weedman. Correction number 21. A blast off the right side. Ty Valandra still running. Escorted out of bounds. We got back uh, what they lost there on that play. Valandra, sophomore. Couldn't quite turn the corner. Good game. He did pick up a hook. And make it third down and about third four. And third and five or so. About 12-yard pickup there for Valandra, number 21. A burst off the right side. Third and four. Dropping back, Weedman, Rocky up the middle. Weedman up the middle, first down, Falcons. He's going to get across that line again and pick up the first down by about three yards or so, two yards or so. Good run. 9.41 to go here in this first quarter. Falcons with the bat, with the football. Hey, he's almost, ah, I did it. Ah, I said basketball. Dang it. It's hard, hard to break that, that. I don't know what you call it. it just comes up, comes out of my big old mouth. Falcons are at the line now. Hand off once again. Lead blockers and a lot of running room. Lost his footing. Number 21, Ty Valandra. Good 
Looked like that old Green Bay counter tray action. Had some lead blockers through the alley. Valandra lost his footing, wound up on the floor, or on the ground. Hey, I did it again. Wound up on the turf, the grass. First and goal now. Right up the middle with Valandra. Warriors are there, and it'll be short of the goal line. They'll bring up second down. And he's about half a fry bread away, man. About half a fry bread. Depending on what size fry bread your auntie makes. About half. Second down now. Quick hitter right up the middle with Rocky Weedman is going to score. Todd County on the board. Falcons are on the board first. And the extra point try for two. A little reverse action, my goodness. Nobody around that time for the Warriors. Got fooled, got sucked in. Had to pay attention, had to honor that uh, the drive up the middle, or the dive up the middle, and... Uh, that little reverse action there, good for two. Makes the score 8-0 now. Falcons on top. Doing it on the ground. The ground attack on full display for the visitors from Todd County. Todd County High School. Give you a little bit of Rocky. Give you a, bit of a whole bunch of Ty Valandra. Aside from that one errant uh, pitch out to the left side there, aside from that, it's pretty, pretty flawless for Todd County as they made their way down the field. Warriors get to show off what they got. Needs a quick hitter right up the middle, picked up. And that's a good cover right there for number 32 for the Warriors. Raymond Yellowbird, Raymond, quick hands, saw it coming, grabbed it with both hands, secured it, tucked it away, and tried to pick up a couple yards to boot. And that's going to set the uh, Warriors up right about the 50, 48-yard line is what they say. Looks like it's right on the line. Warriors will handle the ball for the first time here in this first quarter. 8.21 to go here. 8-0, Todd County on top. Warriors at the line. Johnny will hand off. Ball into the hands of number 10, Leandre Twin. Little shake and bake, found some room. Picked up about five. Maybe four. Break it second and six. Eight minutes to go now. Clock winding down in this first quarter. Jonathan Sam live on Live Ticket TV. KLND Sports, brought to you by Live Ticket TV. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to Nathan, the man behind the screen, behind the curtain. There's the snap, the handoff. Nope, a fake. Johnny, a lot of room. Johnny stiff arm, looking for the angle. Got back to the line of scrimmage and be brought down. That guy was quick on that on that end over there, number twenty-three, Robert Antone. Saw the play coming, waited for it to come to him, and then brought Johnny to the ground. That's not easy to do. Johnny is vicious with the stiff arm. Warriors now third and six. Hand off once again. Woo! Nice run up the middle. Leandre Twin. A whole bunch of Falcons hanging on to Leandre. I, did, I think he did get across. He did make it across, I believe, to the line to gain for the first down. That is a first down. Good run. 
A good burst there from uh, Leandre. 6.40 to go, clock winding down in this first quarter. Warriors showing off a, a new wrinkle. A new wrinkle with a handoff to twin Leandre. Johnny with the snap and a pitch out once this time. Leandre, the stiff arm, does he make the corner? No, he will not. And brought down by Valandra, number 21. Quickly to the ball. 6.05 to go, clock winding down in this first quarter. He'll be dropped for a loss of about three. Bring up second and 13. Second and 12, second and 13. Ball on the 39-yard uh, line of the Falcons. Luger at the line now. Hand off once again. Twin right up the middle. Looks like number 15 was there first. Uh, Michael Rogers for Todd County along with Valandra. Our correction, uh, Anton. Back to the original line of scrimmage, third and ten now. 5.13 to go, clock winding down in the first quarter. Warriors on the move with the football. Ten yards to pick up the first. Double wide, double wide. Luger under center. Going to roll out to the right side, look over the top, look for some room. Oh, man, good, good blocking that peeled back. And now number 35, Rocky Wiedman, will bring down Johnny Luger. The Warrior line, the offensive line, peeled back. And uh, Luger was in trouble. Johnny looking for some help, and his lineman came running. Just couldn't get away from Rocky Wiedman. Fourth down now, the drop uh, loss of one, it looks like. Fourth and 11, 417, clock winding down here in the first quarter. This is a battle between uh, the number one team and the number two team. Todd County coming in, the number one seed. Warriors, number two in the standings in the All Nation Class A bracket division. Warriors lining up like they are going to go for it here on fourth and 11. Johnny going to keep the football. Looking for some blocking. Looking for that angle on the right side. Johnny on the run. Johnny will be brought down. Back to the original line of scrimmage and nothing more. It'll be a turnover on down to the 343 mark. Falcons showing off the speed. That defense closed in. Battled through the... They had a whole caravan out in front of Johnny. First guy there just kind of bust through there. And then everybody else came and cleaned up. Warriors give the ball back to the Falcons. Falcons line it up now. Hand off once again. Rocky Weedman up the middle. Warriors are there. And it looks like uh, Alexio Eagle was there. First for the Warriors along with uh, number 99. For Standing Rock, uh, Keaton St. John. And maybe Sarge was there. Yeah, Sarge was at the bottom of that pile. Number 72, Adam. Getting off uh, the field there. A little shaken up. Warriors back to the line. Student body right this time. Warriors hustling. Ball is loose. Big hit by number 10 for Standing Rock, Leandre Twin. Rock the world of Cade Valandra. I think he landed on the back of his head. They're going to come and take a look at him. Come and take a look at him right away. He landed uh, right on the back of his uh, helmet there. And uh, he is making his way back to the bench over here right in front of us. And that is a turnover. Big hit, Leandre. 
Todd County looking like they were going to roll around that corner. Warriors and Leandre Twins said, hold on. Seen that one coming and closed that door in a hurry. Got the ball to pop loose. Warriors recovered it, and the Warriors get it right back. 3-0-1 to go. I think they're more worried about the ankle here or something of Cade Valandra. Timeout on the field. The Warriors want to talk it over. Boy, that play happened really quickly. Warriors were hustling into their offense, and uh, Coach Luger over there wants to talk it over. I want to tell you all, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming along with us, guys. It is the battle between one and two here in the home of the Warriors. Final game of this All-Nations Conference season taking place tonight. The number one team, Todd County. In the house. Standing Rock Warriors, the number two representative in the standings. Warriors were number one last week. We checked the standings before the game with McLaughlin that they hosted here. And we're the number one team. And then as the, as the week progressed, it was a flip-flop in the standings. And Sarge is still limping. Adam Eagleshield back on the field for Standing Rock. He got injured two plays ago. And the turnover brought him back out into the field. Out the timeout, we're back on the field. Handoff, Johnny Luger ran into the back of Sarge Eagleshield. He got pushed back into Luger. And Sarge looking like he wants to stay in the game, but he better go take a look at him on the sideline over there. Not able to hold his ground. That time got shoved right into Johnny. Thane Bahealer was quarterback then. Nope. Sarge is going to stay in the game. Make his way back to the line of scrimmage. Healer still under center, going to roll out. Pass over the top, looking to get that ball into the hands of number two, Lance Bradley. Ball falls short. Makes it now third and 11. 2.04 to go off after the, uh, the turnover. A big hit, popped the ball loose. Leandre Twin. Came up and closed the door on Cade Valandra on that right, the sweep to the right. And the Warriors looking to do something with the football. There's the snap. Behealer will pitch out Johnny Luger on the run and ran into a whole bunch of Falcons over there. Nowhere to go for Johnny. Luger brings up fourth down. Falcons are flying to the football on the defensive end. We drop Johnny for a loss of a couple. Makes it fourth and 12 now. Little decision here for Coach uh, Luger. And they are looking like they're going to punt this one away. Adam. Eagle Shield for Standing Rock. Set the kick. Ball is up and looks like it's partially blocked and rolling down the field. Falls out of bounds or rolls out of bounds. It'll be uh, Falcon football there. Adam put a boot into it. About a 40 yard punt. No return. It's going to be Falcon football. Falcon stood their ground, got the ball back off the turnover. 1.14 to go here. 
in this first quarter. Falcons at the line. Warriors are there. A handoff right up the middle off the left side once again. Correction off the left side with Rocky Weedman. Warriors are there. You're going to pick up about five. One minute to go. Clock winding down here. 8 0 is the score. Rocky Weedman, workhorse for Todd County, handling the football. Two lead blockers right up the middle. Warriors are there in a hurry. Before picking up the first down, that handoff to number 12. Uh, Stefan Guru came up the middle. Two lead blockers along with the line, turning in, creating the hole. And once that second level, the uh, the second level of the Warrior defense, the linebackers, shed the block. And then Alexio Eagle came from the side over here on the left side here and cleaned that play up. And that will do it for the first quarter. Standing Rock Warriors trail zero. Taunt County Falcons on top, eight, zero, eight, zero. And they're gonna flip the ends here. Shorty is in the house at the station. I'm double checking here. And I'm double checking over here. Caitlin D looks like we are uh, still live. Double checking at Caitlin D. But uh, it is between quarters. And it is a little bit to get used to here, what we're, what we're, what we're used to doing. <laughs> Apologies, Nathan. I'm trying to figure this thing out on the run, brother. I appreciate you, though, at the station, always there. Or always at, see, at the station, even. Like, you're always there at the... Uh, right when I need you. And we are out of the timeout. Second quarter coming at you. They flip the field. Todd County heading to the south end now. Handoff once again up the middle. Alexio Eagle sniffed that play out. Rocky Weedman locking horns with Alexio Eagle. Alexio doing a good job seeing the play. You see he's following the football is what he's doing. Sees the football and he's just going right to the ball. Wherever it's at. Lead block, that kind of a thing. He's got to be careful, though. They go to a reverse, double reverse. That kind of action, he could get caught in the wash, as they, they call it. you got to stay home a little bit. Hand off once again. That time, Warriors not having any of that. Number 21, Ty Valandra got stacked up and dropped. A whole stack of Warriors were there to drop the runner. A handoff once again. This time there's room on the right side. Oh boy, off and running. A whole bunch of room. The runner dropped and brought down by number 10 for Stanley Rock. Leandre Twin saved the touchdown. Did not give up on the play. Falcons. Big chunk of yards off the right side. 10.40 to go. Clock winding down. It'll be first and 10. Ball on the 20. It'll be first and 10. 
first and 10, Todd County. They are in the red zone, right at the 19-yard line, first and 10. Falcons at the line, fake to Weedman, and now Crow will keep it, dive into the line, and will be dropped. Sarge was there. Eagle Shield was there. Number five, also Thane Bahealer for Standing Rock. Second now and second down now. And six yards to gain. Ten minutes to go in his first half. Scores eight and zero. Falcons are now in the red zone. A handoff. For number 12, Stefan Guru, he'll be brought down by Sarge. Adam, Eagle Shield, showing he is all right. Whatever he got, uh, he got dinged up earlier. And he's looking like he's all right right now. 9.18 to go, clock winding down. Third down. Third and one. Ball is on the 11 yard line. Falcons hand off. No, ball is loose. Ball is loose. Ball is loose. Warriors and Falcons on the pile up, and that'll bring up fourth down as uh, the Falcons are able to cover that one. A handoff looking for either Rocky Weedman. He was there first. I think he went. Exploded through the line a bit too fast, a little too strong. Going to build up his momentum and forgot the rock. Put the rock on the ground. Fourth down. Reverse. Warriors are there. Luger with the big hit. Did he stop him from getting the first down? Johnny was there. He sure did. Big, big play. Johnny Luger on the spot right when they needed him. Warriors get the ball back. Turnover on downs. Handoff to Ty Valandra streaking to the left side. Johnny Luger was there. Warriors will get the ball back now. Big, big play for the Warriors and Johnny Luger. Preventing the touchdown. Preventing the first down. Textbook style tackle. Chopped his feet, squared up, brought the man to the ground. Timeout on the field. Coach wants to talk it over. I want to say thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for coming along with us. Jonathan Sam live on Live Ticket. KLND Sports brought to you by Live Ticket TV. Timeout on the field. In these moments here, where you, we usually uh, we're supposed to switch over and take a, a timeout along with them, and I'm trying to figure that out right now. So bear with me. Thank you, DJ Short, Shorty at the station, for keeping us up and connected. We have the whole top part of the field over there filled up. And both teams making their way back to the field. Huge, huge support out here for Standing Rock, the Warriors. Faithful are here. Johnny will run the quarterback position now. Gonna roll out to the left side, turn on the Jets, look down the field. Got a man coming back to the football. Reception is made. Lance Bradley running down the field was about five yards beyond. Stopped. Saw it was short. Came all the way back. Caught it with both hands. Fell to the ground. Good reception. Got the Warriors out of a big, big hole. Their backs were against their goal line. On about the 11-yard line off that big play from Johnny Luger. And now another big play showing off the arm. Johnny Luger found Lance Bradley for a big chunk of yards. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold everything. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Falcons want to talk it over. Falcons want a timeout. Timeout on the field. fireplaces, and more. He is certified to work on natural gas and propane. John can help with the design and build of a new home system or a remodel of your current system. Give John a call at 605-310-0938 for your servicing needs. Olson Heating and Air, trusted heating and cooling experts serving the Mobridge and surrounding areas. Mac Theater and Pheasant Drive-In, your family-owned and operated movie theater bringing you the new release movies at an affordable price. Stop by the concession stand for the best hot buttered popcorn, cherry snow cones, cherry cokes, pretzels, and a wide variety of candy. Find the showtimes on Facebook or call 605-845-9240. Open Fridays and Saturdays. We are back out of the timeout. Hopefully I did that right. And there is a snap. Johnny back to pass. Looking down the field. Little pump fake. Johnny with the jets. Johnny with the speed. Little shake. Little bake. Little roll. Johnny on the run. Cut back. Johnny still running. Woo! Big play. Johnny Luger. Brought down by Stefan Guru. Johnny Luger ran about a mile. Big chunk of yards for Johnny Luger. Warriors going to hustle back to the line of scrimmage. Ripped off a whole bunch of real estate. Timeout once again. Timeout on the field. Falcons. Falcons need to talk it over. And we will uh, take this break along with them before I forgot to say that. It's at 7 p.m. and 4 p.m. on Sunday. Mac Theater and Pheasant Drive-In. Stop in to Hagel Service before or after the game to gas up your vehicle and grab all the snacks you're going to need. You'll find cold and microwavable sandwiches, candy, soda, seeds, chips, and all sorts of other drinks. Hagel Service in Fort Yates, a proud supporter of all surrounding community youth athletics and activities. Hagel Service, family owned since 2007. And we are back guys, Warriors. Back to the line of scrimmage, Johnny. Looking to the left side, pass. Ball is loose. Or is it a forward pass? If that's a backward pass, that ball is live. But it looks like it is a forward pass. Who better take a look at the replay. Look up on the jumbotron, that might be. Nope, they're gonna say it's forward, okay. Our Jumbotron brought to you by Kmart and Family Dollar, Sears, up on the north end over there, a little bit close, but it'll bring up uh, second down now, second and ten, Warriors at the line of scrimmage, little pump fake to the left side, Johnny looking for room, Johnny stiff arm, spin away from the defense, Johnny on the run, going to pick up some positive yards. Making something out of nothing. Johnny Luger picked up about five. Brings up a big third down. Going to be third and six at the bottom to the 12-yard line. Third and six now. Third and six. Warriors moving the ball in chunks. Taking big old chunks of yards in this uh, series now for Standing Rock. Getting up on that brick of gold and just chopping off a big old chunk off of there. From the Kamad Warehouse. Warriors at the line. 
Johnny Luger looking to the left side, looking into the end zone. He's going to pump fake and find some room. Johnny, cut back. Johnny, touchdown, Warriors. Froze his man that, that was closing in, the defender. Lining up Johnny. Closed him and froze him with the pump fake. Then it was all speed with Johnny Luger hit the gas and wound up in the end zone. Touchdown, Standing Rock Warriors. Extra point try on the way now for Standing Rock. Johnny Luger looking over the field, surveying, surveying, has a man. In the end zone, good for two, Leandre Twin. Do we have a signal? Did they, did they give the signal? I stepped away the coaching staff for Todd County saying, no, that is incomplete. Referees having a conference over there, talking it over, and they say it is good. It is good. Tie ball game. Pass from Johnny Luger to Leandre Twin. Ties the ball game eight to eight. Big series, huge series for the Warriors as they tie this ball game up eight to eight. Six twenty-five to go here in the first half. Both teams showing why they are number one and number two in this division in the Class A. One and two. Teams in division, Class A. Whew. I got to settle down a little bit. Get a little bit excitable. <laughs> Johnny Luger took over the team, started off on the defensive end, dropped the Todd County runner. As he was trying to pick up the first down, knocking on the door about the 11-yard line, Johnny dropped him. Warriors took over, marched down the field, touchdown, Johnny Luger leading the way. 8-8 eight to eight now. Warriors will kick off, Eagle Shield, Adam. Sends it down the field, it does roll out of bounds. They are closing the closing the the roof over here on the dome on the Warrior Dome. You see that sun kind of fading over there, closing the dome over here now. So we'll be able to see a little bit better. Six twenty six to go here. All knotted up eight to eight. Thanks for tuning in, Jonathan Sam, live on Live Ticket TV, KLD Sports, brought to you by Live Ticket. Thanks to our friends down there in Winter, South Dakota, connecting. The hookup. Holler if you hear me. Falcons will hand the ball off. Looking up the middle. And Warriors are there. Ball is loose. Ball is loose. Warriors are there. Waiting for the signal. Deontay Eagle with the recovery. Warriors. Lead the smackdown. I'm the runner up the middle. You want to run power? Warriors said, we like that. We know exactly where you're going now. And we'll just come put a hat on that football and it's popped out. Fumble, fumble, fumble here in the first half. Warriors in business now. 6.15 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line of the Falcons. Luger under center. Johnny with a pump fake, with a handoff. Ball into the hands of George Bradley, and he'll be brought down. Weedman looks like he was there. Second and 12, maybe. Dropped him for a couple, loss of about two. 5.50 to go, clock winding down, Warriors, big hit, big, big hit, jarred the football loose, 
Deontay Eagle dove on it. And the Warriors get the football back. Shotgun now. Luger off the snap. Lots of time. Luger looking down the field. Look out. Defense closing in. Pass up ahead looking for uh, Lance Bradley. Falls incomplete. They bring up third down. Third and 12. Five eighteen to go here in this first half. Warriors get the ball back off of a big hit and a turnover. Ball popped loose. Taking their time in the huddle. They need to hurry up just a little bit now. Warriors break. Split two guys to the left. Two guys wide to the right. Shotgun formation. There is a flag that came flying and that is a procedure penalty against Standing Rock. Maybe a guy moved or maybe a guy wasn't set. Way on that opposite side, I think. Bring him back uh, five yards, make it third and 17 now. They close the dome here. And now you can see a lot better. Johnny Luger looking down the field. Johnny lost his footing. He'll be dropped. Johnny dropped way back behind the line of scrimmage. Brought down by number 23. Robert Antone. Fourth and 22 now, and the Warriors line it up like they're going get, to get a boot into this one. Going to punt it away. Capacity crowd here. Everybody excited about Warrior football. Huge crowd is turned out to support Standing Rock. Nope, Warriors going to go for it. Johnny on 4th and 22. And we will have a flag. Came flying. A man was moving. And that will push him back another five. Coach Luger had a play lined up or dialed up for 4th and 22. We'll see here. Is he going to roll it again with 4th and 27? Uh, Sarge is back there. Adam set the punt. Boy, that's a high snap. Gets a boot into it, though. Let's it fly down the field. And it will be downed. Thane Behealer tracked down. And the Falcons will get it back. Right about where they let it go. Right about where they... Where they uh, the fumble occurred. So now it'll be first down and 10 from the 37-yard uh, line for Todd County. Warriors crowding the line of scrimmage now. Luger quickly to the runner. Johnny Luger was not fooled at all. Johnny dove right into the backfield and brought down Ty Valanger. He's able to fall forward to pick up about two. Second and eight or so. 3.35 to go. Clock winding down. It is homecoming. Here in the Warriors. Home field. Defended very well right now. Standing Rock, number 99. Keaton St. John, the sophomore. Gobbled up the runner. Escorted him to the ground. And he's going to bring up third down now. Third and eight. 2.55 to go here in this first half. Clock winding down. Jonathan Sam, KLD Sports, teamed up with Live Ticket. 
TV. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for coming along with us. Incredible game thus far. Falcons looking down the field. Falcons got a man down the field. No. Pass incomplete. Cade Valandra was wide open. Wide open. Nobody around him. The ball fell incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down now for Todd County. 2.33 to go. We're all tied up 8-8 eight to eight in this homecoming game. Warriors hosting the number one team in the standings. Warriors are number two. Falcons lining up. They're going to kick this one away. Back to receive. Johnny Luger taking his time, taking a look. Johnny down the right side. Jumping over a man. Johnny Luger cut back against the defense. Still on his feet. Johnny will be brought down. A penalty flag comes flying in at the end of the play. Ty Valandra. Ty Valandra got hopped over. He put his head down and dove at the feet of Johnny. Johnny did a little uh, happy feet. Little high step action. And they're going to pick up this flag. They're going to pick it up. 217. No penalty on the play. Flag came flying in at the end. But uh, Mr. Referee talked it over and said, Nah, we're not going to call that one. We're, we're going to let it play out. Warrior defense standing tall. That big, big rush attack for Todd County. The Falcons was on display in the first series. And they marched down the field. Since then, Standing Rock is having none. None of it. Warriors now with the football first and ten. Luger will snap. Keep the football and be brought down. Big, big tackle. Rocky Weedman. Quarterback sack. Be dropped for about three. A loss of three. Good play there for the Falcon defense. Rocky Weedman. Warriors break the huddle, come to the line and scrimmage. 140 to go here. Clock winding down. Johnny dropping back the pass, looking over the middle this time behind Beheeler. Ooh, he's got two guys on the corners. He had uh, Leandre Twin open towards the sticks over there. He also had number 81 uncovered Melvin Lovejoy on the right side. He finds Lovejoy. Lovejoy is going to end up standing at the top of Boot Hill doing his touchdown dance. If he found him, he was wide open on this right-hand side. Did not see him. 134 to go here. Third down. Third and 12. Warriors break the huddle, come to the line of scrimmage. Ooh, boy. Little hard count action. Brought the Falcons across the line. And that is an outside against uh, Todd County defense. A little hard count. Came to the line. And they were hungry. Hungry for a sack. Makes it a little shorter now. Third and seven. Warriors at the line. 134 to go. Clock winding down this first half. Johnny with the snap. Johnny. Looking over the field, looking down the middle, picked off, no! Oh, almost intercepted. Chris Ellert, Chris Ellert right through his hands. Right through his paws. Decision time now. Ball on the 39 yard line. 
Warriors in the huddle. Warriors looking like they're going to go for it. Calling a play. Warriors break the huddle. Lovejoy and Twin to the right side over here. Thane Bahealer and Lance Bradley way out to the left. Timeout on the field taken by the Warriors. We'll take this timeout along with them. Stop in, gas up, and grab those snacks. Looking for a new way to enjoy the outdoors this fall? Grand River Casino has your answer with the Grand Outdoors giveaway going on now. You could win a brand new Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. on October 16th and 30th. You could be going home with the grand prize Can-Am Defender on October 30th. Take your outdoor fun to the next level at Grand River. You could be hitting the trails in a Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors. It's time to ride your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. And we are back out of the timeout. Warriors with the football. Johnny with the keeper. Johnny, you're on the left side waiting for a block. Johnny, now in trouble. We'll be brought down. And that will be a turnover on downs. Turnover on downs. Warriors do not get the first down. First and 10. Ball on. Somewhere here. Ball on. Well, let's see. First and 10. 119 to go. We'll see them. Uh, good defensive stand there for the Falcons. Todd County. Closing the door on Johnny Luger. Falcons dropping back to pass. Pass over the top, right into the hands of Johnny Luger. Johnny will flip the field, get the ball back. Johnny got room on the right-hand side. Johnny to the end zone. Touchdown, Warriors. Johnny Luger playing center field. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Playing center field. Picked that one off, and there was nobody around. The return, little weave action, got to the end zone. Good for the touchdown. Two-point try on the way for Standing Rock. Penalty flags flying. It'll be delay a game, delay a game. Either way, maybe too many guys on the field or something. Five-yard penalty anyway. Fourteen to eight, Warriors strike in about twenty seconds. Johnny showing off his hundred yard sprint speed. The line of scrimmage. There's the snap. A rollout to the right side. Little dig and a pass to the end zone. Good. Lance Bradley is open. Extra point try for two. The pass play is complete. Sixteen on the board now for the Warriors. Mm -hmm. 
102 to go here in this first half. Chad County Falcons did a good job of standing up. Johnny Luger on the left side over there, preventing the first down on fourth, and I believe it was eight. He got about seven or six. And the very next play, Falcons drop back to pass. And Johnny Luger picked off the play, took it to the house. The last about, oh, let's say about six minutes, five minutes of game time, all Johnny Luger and company. Johnny leading the way for the Warriors. Two touchdowns on the board, 16-8. to eight. Warriors set to kick off. Eagle Shield. A boot. Falcons will pick it up. Warriors are there. Alexio Eagle. Is there along with Johnny Luger to stop the runner, Cade Valandra? 55 seconds to go here in the first half. Falcons now at the line, a pitch out. Warrior defense was there for a moment. The runner escorted out of bounds by number 32 for Standing Rock. Raymond Yellowbird. We got a penalty flag down. Hold on, we got a penalty flag down on the field. Or maybe it's not a penalty flag. What the heck is that? Piece of pre-wrap, maybe? There's the snap and the handoff once again. Valandra on the run. Valandra brought down Leandre Twin on second and about one. Valandra squirting around in there between uh, the defenders. Falcons going quickly now. A little up tempo. Warriors are there. There's the snap. That'll stop the clock. Second down and 10. 38 seconds. Ball will call it spotted right at midfield. What happened? They saved that timeout. Timeout on the field. 38 seconds to go here in this first half. 16 to 8. Warriors on top. Falcons looking for that that little hurry up it, offense there. I'm not sure what happened. Now they're back to the line. A little rollout this time. Crow with the run. The keeper down the right side. We brought down by Eagle. No, he said he's not down. Hold on. I'm not down. I was brought down and landed on the defender, he's saying. Now he's brought down. 25 seconds clock winding down. They're going to hustle to the line of scrimmage. Timeout taken by the Falcons. A good run on the outside by Ray Crow. Big run for Crow. Lexio rolled him up, kind of rolled over and brought him down. The runner landed on top of uh, Alexio Eagle and kept his feet. His knee didn't touch. None of his body touched the ground. He just popped right back up and kept moving. Picked up a few extra. Good heads up play by the runner. Ray Crow, number one. The quarterback for Todd County. What a ball game. Great contest between the number one and number two. Todd County Falcons come in number one. Warriors ranked number two in the All-Nations Conference. Class A division. Warriors with one loss. Falcons, zero. Falcons drop back to pass. Alexio Eagle coming in on the quarterback. Pass to the right side. Falls incomplete. Out of bounds. Crow was looking for Cade Valandra. 18 seconds to go here in the first half. It's going to bring up a third down now. 
or correction, second down. Second down. 18 seconds to go. Falcons in a bit of a hurry up here. They want to score. They want to get on the board. 18 seconds to go. Quick pass. And the Warriors are there. I'm going to bring down the runner. Pass complete to Ty Valandra. Nine seconds winding down. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. Five seconds. Back to the line of scrimmage. Three seconds. Two seconds. Woo. Did he get it? Yeah, he did. He got it with one second. One second. Good hustle to the line of scrimmage. Everybody got set. Quarterbacks killed the clock with one second to go. Good clock management there for Todd County. Give them one last crack at the end zone here in this first half. 16-8 is the score. Standing Rock Warriors on top by a touchdown. Falcons wanting to tie it up before the halftime buzzer. They got Rocky Weedman split out to the wide side. A quick pitch and a handoff. Crow going to roll out. Crow on the run. Crow. A cutback against the defense. Warrior defense is there. Johnny Luger got a hold of Crow, and that's going to do it for the first half. Johnny Luger, good open field tackle. And that's going to do it for this first half. Standing Rock Warriors, 16. Todd County Falcons, 8. It is halftime. We will be back here at the end of the half. Whoo, don't go anywhere. We'll let you uh, take a look at these uh, fine people, these some great people who stepped up and said, hey, we want to we wanna sponsor that Warrior team. We want to sponsor that McLaughlin team, that Solon team, that Wakabala team. Thanks to you guys, and we're going to let you hear from them. Here we go. Innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Take your outdoor fun to the next level with the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino and Resort. You could win a Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Grand Prize Can-Am Defender will be drawn at 8 p.m. on October 30th. Just use your Gold Club card while playing to qualify to enter to win. Details at GrandRiverCasino.com. Take it outside with a brand new Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino. It's time to ride. Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something in common. The desire to maximize their land and improve it for the next generation. You need a cooperative that offers peace of mind. Agtegra Cooperative is an ag partner that shares your values and is part of your community. From agronomy and grain operations to energy and feed, Agtegra will link your farm to the future. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. The 
innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Take your outdoor fun to the next level with the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino and Resort. You could win a Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Grand Prize Can-Am Defender will be drawn at 8 p.m. on October 30th. Just use your Gold Club card while playing to qualify to enter to win. Details at GrandRiverCasino.com. Take it outside with a brand new Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino. It's time to ride. Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something in common. The desire to maximize their land and improve it for the next generation. You need a cooperative that offers peace of mind. Agtegra Cooperative is an ag partner that shares your values and is part of your community. From agronomy and grain operations to energy and feed, Agtegra will link your farm to the future. Agtegra Cooperative. Strong. Stable. Dependable your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Take your outdoor fun to the next level with the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino and Resort. You could win a Can-Am or matching cash and free play prize up to $500. Drawings are from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. The Grand Prize Can-Am Defender will be drawn at 8 p.m. on October 30th. Just use your Gold Club card while playing to qualify to enter to win. Details at GrandRiverCasino.com. Take it outside with a brand new Can-Am during the Grand Outdoors at Grand River Casino. It's time to ride. Every farm is unique, but all farmers have something. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Acres Ahead is back with AgTegra Cooperative. Now is the time to secure product, lock in early season prices, and receive delayed payment terms on your agronomy inputs. Fertilizer, seed, and crop protection purchases from Acres Ahead also qualify for triple play grain premiums, diesel discounts, and feed discounts. Contact your local AgTegra agronomist to learn more on how Acres Ahead can maximize your farm's earning potential straight from the start. AgTegra Cooperative, strong, stable, dependable. Food and fun at the Chuck Wagon in McLaughlin on Main Street. They've been a family-owned business since 2015. They have all of your favorites. And 
Dodge can check out their daily specials on Facebook. And Chuck Wagon is accepting all school purchase orders for food for team meals for players, coaches, and bus drivers when they come to McLaughlin or surrounding teams that are passing through. Chuck Wagon, a proud supporter of local athletics and activities on Main Street in McLaughlin, 605-823-4748. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. In Fort Yates, it's Rock Energy. If you're headed to a game in Fort Yates or in town and going out of town, stop at Rock Energy. Get gas and snacks for the game. And they're open after games for all you need post game. They have cold sandwiches, ice cream, soft drinks, chips, and candy. Rock Energy in Fort Yates. Call the 701-854-7471. Rock Energy, proud supporters of all surrounding area sports and activities. Olson Heating and Air is here for you 24-7 for all your heating and cooling needs. John has been servicing the Bow Bridge and surrounding areas for the last 12 years. John works on furnaces, air conditioners, garage heaters, water heaters, fireplaces, and more. He is certified to work on natural gas and propane. John can help with the design and build of a new home system or a remodel of your current system. Give John a call at 605-310-0938 for your servicing needs. Olson Heating and Air, trusted heating and cooling experts serving the Mow Bridge and surrounding areas. Mac Theater and Pheasant Drive-In, your family-owned and Hey, and we are back. Second half coming at you live from Stan Eric High School, the Warrior Dome, home of the Standing Rock Warriors. This Warrior football team giving the, the hometown crowd an incredible season to be proud of. A whole, I think everybody's here, man. I'm looking around. I'm looking around and see if uh, everybody's here, here in Fort Yates and surrounding area. Raise your hand if you're not here. I'm surveying the crowd. I'm looking at the fans. If you're not here, put your hand up. Let me see. We're about ready to start this second half. This one, high football's Great, great contest between these two great teams. Standing Rock. On top at this moment, 16 to 8. Johnny Luger took over in that second quarter on the defensive end, the offensive end. He even ran over here. He was the homecoming king. He stood over there, did the homecoming king stuff. He ran in here. He made a bunch of popcorn. He was sweeping up and picking up trash all around the building. He was checking everybody's oil and checking their tire pressure on the buses and on everybody's car and he's back on the field and ready to go ball is up and we are underway second half coming at you warriors on the return looking for room number 13 for standing rock ran about 80 yards ryan Weddle picked up that football and 
ran away from the defense. Warriors will have it. Ball is first and 10 on the 43-yard line. Heading to the north end. Heading towards Steves. Heading towards Boot Hill. Warriors coming to the line of scrimmage. We'll have Thane Beheeler at quarterback now. For Standing Rock. Here's the snap, looking over the field. Strong arm, oh, oh! A rocket ball into the hands of Lance Bradley. Looking like John Elway. Dropped back and just, ooh, little vapor trail on that one. Thane Beheeler showing off the rocket ball. Lance Bradley was not ready to receive. You can look, you can still see that little vapor trail floating across the field there. Yeah. And we're back at the line of scrimmage. Warriors second and 10 from the 43 yard line. The healer back looking over the field in trouble now. The healer He's going to muscle his way back to the line of scrimmage. Thane Beheeler, that's a big, big dude to bring down. He did pick up about a yard. Fell forward and picked up a yard. We got this moment here. We'll say hello to Miss Dolly. Hello, Miss Dolly. Dolly Dakota. Tuned in, checking out the Warriors. Cheering loud and proud for Johnny. Hello, Dolly. Hope you're feeling well. Hope you are feeling well, Miss Dolly. Miss Dolly is uh, my hero. I told a little story. I'll get back to that when I got a moment here. I'll tell you about Dolly Dakota. And there's the snap. Johnny Luger. The little snap. Picked it up. Could have made something out of nothing. Bring up third down and nine he did pick up about four and bring it fourth down fourth and five now you got a moment here i was a dj i dj'd since like 1985 and i used to record like everybody did off of the radio and dolly dakota is a a, a, a radio personality out of the north dakota out of bismarck down here this uh this poor little res boy would get his uh, recording tapes and would Press pause and record, and when you hear your song, you press pause, and it'll catch your song, and then you hit pause, and it'll stop it. One time, I forgot to press stop. And there's the snap. Warriors are going for it on fourth down. Johnny will keep it weaving his way up against the grain on the defense. Johnny put his head down. Kind of squirted past the defense. Good for the first down. Hearing it from the crowd now. Honking the horns out there, loud and proud. Johnny Luger picked up that first down. I'll finish that story. Dolly Dakota was the personality on the radio, and I would hit pause and accidentally recorded her. So I was recording a, one of the favorite songs. It was one of the popular songs at the time back in 1988, 86, 85, somewhere in there. And her voice came on said, wow, man, and her, you know everything. And there the Warriors are back to the line of scrimmage. Johnny Luger. Rolling out to the right side. Got room to run. Directing traffic. Johnny, little hesitation. And then escorted out of bounds. Robert Antone and company herding Johnny out of bounds. Anyway, Dolly ended up on that recording of mine. And I was DJing a dance at the school. And I started playing that song. And her voice came over, and it was like in the middle of the whole dance. Everybody's getting their little groove on and everything. <laughs> and Dolly Dakota's voice came over the speakers. I wasn't embarrassed or nothing. Dolly, Dolly's been in my life that long. She's my hero. I hope you're doing well, Dolly. Drop back to pass. Johnny Luger surveying the offense or the defense. Got a man down the field. Ball is in the air. Pick! off Falcons with the interception Chris Ellert was there for the Falcons 
Johnny dropped back to pass, had a man closing in on him, just kind of let it fly. That ball hung up in the air and was picked off. Essentially, however, they went for it on fourth down, but that's just like a punt. You know, just like a punt. The defense was there, or the offense turned to defense and brought the runner down. So essentially, that's just like a punt on fourth down. Nothing hurt. Falcons would get the ball there anyway had they dropped back and, and kicked it off. First and ten for the Falcons will hand off. Runner will be brought down. That was uh, Ty Valandra. Twisting and turning and be brought down after picked up about seven or eight. Make that about nine. Second and one now. One yard to gain. Good blocking up front for Todd County. That is a wall of manhood for the Falcons on either end. They're going to go wrap right the middle with Weedman. Rocky. Muscling his way up the field. Will pick up the first down about six. 8.24 to go here in this third quarter. First down Falcons, and they're heading to the south end. Heading towards the interstate. Heading towards Little Eagle, Rock Creek area, Wakapala area. Warriors looking to wall up and defend. 8.05 to go. Falcons getting in a groove now. We'll hand off. Down the field, Johnny Luger at the feet. We'll bring down Valandra. Able to bring down after picking up about four. Makes it maybe second and six now. 7.45 to go here in this third quarter. Danny Rock 16. Falcons from Todd County High School. It's eight on the board. They break the huddle. A pitch out on the right side. Get that ball into the hands of Valandra. He's got room to run. Valandra down the right side. Valandra still on his feet. Valandra escorted out of bounds. Right about the 30 of the Warriors. Big, big chunk of yards for the speedster, Ty Valandra. Broke down that right side and was off and running. Not the first time this game that's happened. And just like that, Ty County's down inside Warrior Territory. Inside Ball is on about the 34-yard uh, line of the Warriors. Falcons at the line will hand off Rocky Weedman. Right up the middle, Weedman. Going to fall forward and will pick up about three yards. Second and seven now. Seven minutes to go. Second and eight on ball is on somewhere 34 yard line Jonathan Sam live with you on live ticket shout out to KLND radio 89.5 pass over the top of the defense oh man he snuck a man free Drake Espinoza snuck past the defense Looking like he was going to block and then released right up the seam. Good for six. 16-14 now. Todd County Falcons digging into the playbook. Found a touchdown. Sec extra point try on the way. Valandra at the line. Met. And there is a wall of warriors, a wall of humanity. Warriors stand tall. Extra point try, no good. Falcons. With the touchdown, but not able to convert the extra point try. Hey, Nathan, if you're listening, 
My mouse just went crazy. Something wrong with my mouse here. I'm trying to get my mouse to come over here so I can get this score right. There it is. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The extra point tried, denied by the Warrior defense. Todd County Falcons got a touchdown on the board. And it is quarter three. The ball is kicked. Picked up by Lovejoy. Ball is loose on the ground. Picked up by the Warriors. Let me get to the score here. Apologies, guys. My, my mouse is acting up. I'm trying to get to the score to make it. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay, so now the score is 16 to 14. Warriors on top by two as they're able to defend the goal line. A wall of Warriors denied that extra point try. And now the Warriors, off the return of Lovejoy, that ball did come free. It was loose on the turf, and it was recovered by the Warriors. Standing Rock will break the huddle. Come to the line of scrimmage. They have Thane and Beheeler to get the snap. Thane looking over the defense, going to find a man. Leandre Twin breaks free from the tackle. Leandre on the run. Leandre spinning away. Ball is loose. Ball is still loose. There's a battle for that loose ball. Hold on. Hold on there. Pointing direction. Cod County Falcons recover the loose ball. Turnover. Warriors. Leandre Twin battling for some extra yards. Spun away from the defense. The ball slipping. Out of his hands. Couldn't dive on it to recover it. And the Falcons recover the loose ball. They are in business now. They get the ball after scoring a touchdown. Todd County. Well, handoff. Rocky Weedman up the middle. We brought down by the Warriors. Looks like number 77 was there first for Standing Rock, Deontay Eagle. And he's going to have to check out. In the ball game now for Standing Rock, number 65. Bendixson. Second down now. Second in about seven for Todd County. Ball is loose again. Falcons are going to dive on it. Bendixson was there first and knocked it loose. Big play for Bendixson checking into the ball game. Jarred that football loose. Falcons pounced on it. Falcons nearly gave it right back to the Warriors. Third down now. Third and seven. Roll out. Quarterback keeper, Crow, going to pick up the first down and run out of bounds. First and 10 ball on the 50-yard line. 40, correction. Hold on. What do you say? 47-yard line. 4.57 to go. 4.57 to go, first and 10. Falcons found the groove, and they are still rolling. Valandra, two arms wrapped around the football like a baby, holding it with two arms. <laughs> Both arms wrapped around, cradling that ball. Went to the turf. We'll bring up second down. Second and five. Second and four. 4.33 to go. 16-14 is the score. 
Falcons now with the football. Well, handoff, Valandra once again right up the middle. Valandra, a lot of room to run. Valandra brought down by Lovejoy. And Leandre Twin. Big burst up the middle. Falcons feeling pretty good right now. Warriors backed up against their end zone. First and ten. Ball is on. I'm not even sure. I can't see that far. Let's see. Rocky Weedman up the middle. Warriors are there. A wall of Warriors once again. Weedman is going to bring up second down. He'll be able to pick up about four. Second and six now. 329 to go in the third quarter. Warrior defense standing tall. A handoff. Weedman met at the line of scrimmage. Will he be dropped? No, he picked up a couple, looks like. Picked up a couple. Maybe a yard. Or bring up third down. Third and third and five now. I'm surveying the defense here of the Warriors, and I don't see Adam Eagle Shield. Sarge. A little misdirection. A handoff to the left side. Warriors are there. Warriors hustling to the football. Lance Bradley was there for the Warriors along with Johnny Luger. And George Bradley closed this left side down. The only place to run now for Todd County. They found room over on that right side over there. The Warrior left side. 2.09 to go here. Four and four. Quarterback keeper. Ran through the defense of Bradley. Wound up out of bounds and that will be enough for the first down. Able to pick up. He needed four. Picked up five. 155 to go here in this third quarter. 16-14 is the score. Warriors 16. Todd County Falcons 14. Ball on about the 14 yard line. Handoff up the middle of Valandra. Cade Valandra met somewhere in the middle of that pile. Runner brought down by number 32, Raymond Yellowbird for Standing Rock. Second and eight now. Falcons looking to pass now. Pass over the top. Had a man. Threw it out of the reach of number 85. Mason Horse looking. Was open. Pass fell to the ground. Incomplete. 119 to go here in the third quarter. Brings up third down now. Third and eight. 119 to go in the third quarter. Warriors doing a good job of holding the line. Falcons will hand off. No, they'll fake up the run up the middle. Pass over the top. Quarterback keeper Crow on the run. Crow will be brought down by Luger. He's able to pick up the first down. About a yard short of the goal line. Touchdown saving tackle by Johnny Luger. 107 to go here in this third quarter. Todd County Falcons knocking on the door. Warriors 16, Falcons 14. Warriors 
Falcons up the middle. Valandra into the pileup. Will be short of the line to gain. Short of the goal line. Bring up second down. Right about the one fry bread line. Close. Close. You can slide a fry bread between the goal line and the nose of the football. That's how close he is. 12 seconds, 10 seconds, winding down in this third quarter. A handoff, Valandra diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Falcons back on top. 20 now, 2016. Extra point try on the way now for Todd County. Good, good run down the field for the Todd County Falcons. Marching their way to the end zone would not be denied. Extra point try on the way. Crow with the keeper. Crow going to dive across the goal line. Good for two. Crow into the end zone. Brings the score now. Todd County 22. Standing Rock Warriors 16. Yep, I think I did there. There, Nathan, I think I did. Let me look again. Yep. Quarter three, now quarter four. Was that the fourth quarter? I think that is. No, two seconds to go before the fourth quarter. 22-16. Falcons set the kickoff here to end this third quarter. All Falcons in that, four, in that third quarter. Valandra. And there's the, oh boy, Bradley, George. A whole lot of men to bring down. Little onside kick right to the hands of Bradley. That was a bad idea. Oh man, wound up right in his hands. He put, it, put his head down and started motoring. Muscling his way down the field. And that's how the third quarter will end the kickoff. Right into the hands of Bruiser Bradley. Not a good idea. Don't kick to that guy. <laughs> he almost rumbled, stumbled, and bumbled all the way to the end zone with that one. We bring up fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. The score is now Falcons 22, Warriors 16. This battle between the number one team, the number one seed, and the number two seed here in the All Nations Football Conference, Todd County Falcons, showing why they hold that number one spot. Warriors giving them every indication. Hey, man, we held that spot a week ago, and we're going to show you why. And we're going to show you how. 12 minutes of regulation time to go to settle this one. Maybe. We might end up into, into overtime. A little extra session to decide this one. I came prepared. Brought some hot chocolate. Don't tell the concession people. I brought my own. And fourth quarter underway. Johnny Luger with the football. 
Going to make it all the way back, maybe to the line of scrimmage. Little busted play. No gain on the play. Luger tries to run off the left side. They might have lost one. We'll say uh, loss of one. Second and 11 now. But look where Bruiser Bradley set the team up. Set the boys right at the footsteps of the end zone. Ball is on the 20. That little onside kick came right into the hands of Bradley. And he put his head down and was motoring. Low, low snap. Luger able to pick it up. Johnny looking for room. Going to get rid of it. Pass to the right side. Off the mark. There's nobody close. Little bit outside. And that is a penalty flag, came down. Johnny pleading his case. I had popcorn. Popcorn in my fan, and it slipped out. That'll bring up. Uh, a loss on the intentional grounding. They bring up about third and uh, 25, maybe third and 26. Intentional grounding. Coach Luger in the huddle now. He's gonna dial up. Gonna gonna dial up something here. He's got to play. I know he does. For third and 35. You want to get a chunk of it back if you can. Pick up a nice little chunk of it. Warriors taking their time in the huddle over there. Warriors hustling now to the line of scrimmage. Johnny, third and 35. Calling for a guy, George Bradley, was still drinking some water over there. Swing pass, the twin, Leandre. Woo! Who we brought down about the line of scrimmage, and maybe that was a horse collar. Maybe. We got a man down over there. We got a flag confining way from the right side. Guy was standing over in the Taco John's parking lot through that flag. And he got a player down over there across the way. Maybe a uh, horse collar, personal foul, a face mask. That's going to be a face mask against uh, Todd County, the Falcons. Yeah, you saw that weird kind of yank. It, the, the body of the runner kind of did a weird turn. So it was either the horse collar or got a hold of that face mask and brought him down. And that is a penalty. You're going to push him, push the Falcons all the way back. That was a personal foul. That was a 15-yarder. And they're going to replay the down. They bring it to third and third and 20 now. Warriors hustle to the line of scrimmage now. Uh, Johnny Luger at quarterback will receive. Looking to pass. Got a man in the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Warriors! Lance Bradley got past the defense. I think the defense was had their eyes in the backfield. As Johnny Luger was kind of motoring his way, kind of gently moving his, his way across the field over there. I don't know why I said gently. I don't think he does anything gently. But he was kind of 
Kind of, kind of tiptoeing, kind of pulling that defense a little bit closer and closer, sucking them in. And Lance Bradley was heading towards that corner. Johnny passed right over the top, dropped it in the bucket. Good for six. Touchdown. Warriors. Warriors back on top. Or correction, tie ball game now. Warriors tied up at 22. All important extra point try on the way. Danny Rock hustling to the line of scrimmage. Johnny will snap it. Going to keep it and fall to the turf. And that play was kind of broken up from the get-go. as They had to hustle to the line and we are all tied up. 22-22. In this fourth quarter, 10 28 to go. What a ball game! What a ball game by these two teams, one and two in the Class A All Nations Conference. Beautiful, beautiful night for football. It was windy, windy, windy these last couple days. And as it started to become game time and the sun started to set, kind of gently falling into that western sky, everything, everything settled down here. There is not a wind, not even a little gust of wind. You can see there's a little haze falling over. A little haze falling over the field. Or is that dust? Might be dust. Anyway, it's floating over the field. That's how you know there is not any wind moving. No air moving down there. Warriors tie it up. Beautiful, beautiful pass from Johnny Luger over the top of the defense. Sucked them in. They had to had to pay attention whether he was going to run that ball or not. They had to they had to know. Johnny, are you going to put your pin your ears back and take off? And there's the kick. Recovered at the by Michael uh, Rogers for the Falcons. Fell on that one. And they set the Falcons up. First and 10. Ball on the uh, 34 yard, 44 yard line. 44 yard line. Falcons at the line. Hand off. Valandra met by Alexio Eagle. Big, big play from the defensive end. Alexio Eagle. His eyes on the football the whole time. Saw it snapped and just blasted it to the football. Wrapped up the runner with both arms and brought him down. Sure handed tackle. Alexio Eagle brings up second down now. Little misdirection in the backfield. Warriors are there. Warriors going to bring down the runner. Number 20, Cade Valandra. Dropped back to the original line of scrimmage to bring up third down. Third and 10. 9.34 to go. Warriors kind of figured out this little running game now. Falcons are able to dig in the pockets, dig deep into the playbook, and, and release a couple of pass plays over the top and found their way into the end zone. Warriors are doing a good job of defending the run. Third down now, third and ten. Falcons back to pass. Crow being chased by Eagle over the top of the defense. Pass is complete to the big fella, number 85. Mason, horse looking. Woo, he got some hands. Nice catch there by horse looking. Release up the field. Both hands up, caught the football and tucked it away. Good play, good design for the Falcons. Falcons back to the line of scrimmage. A handoff. Looking for Valandra once again. This time, Warriors are there. 
bring him right to the turf. And going to help him back up, Thane Bahiler. All over that run of Ty Valandra. Able to pick up about one, but that is it. 8.20 to go. All tied up, 22-22. Every play is a big one now. Falcons back to the line now. There's a snap, another pass over the top. This time falls incomplete, and the Warriors are there. I don't know. He, can, he catches that one. He might still be running there. Drake Espinoza. Same design, same play. Released him down the seam. This time, Espinoza not able to gobble that ball up. Falls incomplete. 7.50 to go here. 22-22 is the score here in the fourth quarter. Third and nine now for the Falcons. They come to the line of scrimmage. Going to send Cade Valandra wide. Oh, man, Valandra's down the field wide open. They do not see him. Warriors and Alexio Eagle. Smash mouth football for Alexio. Brought the man down. The ball popped free. But man, Valandra wide open down the seam. Nobody running with Valandra. Warriors busted play on defense. Alexio Eagle saving the day. Bringing down the runner. Fourth down. Fourth and nine, seven oh five to go here in this fourth quarter. Crowd coming alive. Plowed. Crow in trouble. Crow brought down. Crow tackled by Alexio Eagle. Two big plays for the Warrior defense and Alexio Eagle leading the way for Standing Rock. And that will be a turnover on downs. The Warrior Dome was shaking. The whole ground was shaking on that play. The Warrior faithful. Thunderous crowd. Enormous. Here at home cheering on the Warriors. They get the ball back. Behealer back to quarterback, and he'll keep it. Looking for room. Thane Behealer in trouble. Quarterback sack. Luger was releasing down the field, working his way open. Behealer could not get free. Boy, this lead, <laughs> the lid would have blew off this field. If Behealer could see Johnny Luger running free, wide open down the field, could not get free to get the ball loose down there. Brings up second down and 20, a loss of 10. Behealer once again. Will pitch out, Johnny Luger is gonna keep it. Run away from the defense, no. Falcons swarm into the football. Falcons will bring down Johnny Luger in the backfield. Of a loss of about five, maybe. Time out on the field taken by the Warriors. Want to talk it over. Coach Luger, what do you got in the playbook for third in a mile?
Timeout on the field taken by the Warriors for third and a mile. Coach Luger, you've seen him drop down to the floor, to the ground, and uh, you're the pop stick. You're the popsicle stick. You're the you're the you're the pop bottle cap. You're gonna go here, draw it up in the ground, in the gravel, in the dirt. Little reverse action. Oh man, they got something here. Lance Bradley on the move. Lance Bradley, a little shake and bake back to the original line of scrimmage. Good run for Lance Bradley on the reverse. We'll bring up fourth down now. Fourth and ten with 5.22 to go. 5.20, clock winding down. Clock continuing to run. Fourth down, Warriors coming back to the huddle. We've got 5.13 to go. Fourth quarter. Are they going to run a play? they looking like they are. On fourth and ten. The healer will hand off. Luger will fake the pitch. Johnny Luger looking for a block. Could be dropped in a turnover on Towns. He faked the pitch and kept the football and was brought down. Good defensive stand there by Todd County. The Falcons standing tall on defense. 4.47 to go here. In this fourth quarter, 447 to go in the contest. Falcons get the ball back. Turnover on downs. Cade Valandra split way to the right side. They're gonna hand off right up the middle. Ty Valandra up the middle. Cade Valandra was split wide right. You're going to bring up second down. Second down. Second one. Ball spotted right at the... 420 to go. Clock winding down here in this fourth quarter. 22-22 is the score. Handoff. Weedman. Handoff to Weedman. He's met and dropped. Alexio Eagle. Along with number five for Standing Rock, Thane Beheeler. Timeout on the field. Four oh one to go. A warning to the Warrior Faithful. The Thunderdome is roaring. And they say, don't roar so much, guys. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Referee came over and said, don't be honking your horns. Don't honk your horns, especially when they are uh, trying to snap the ball. I think that's the, the essence of home field, though. That's the essence of home field advantage. And I don't think that's going to perturb. Crow would keep the football. Run to the left side. Crow still running. Picked up the first down. He wound up out of bounds. Stopped the clock, but through 336. 22 22 is the score. Quarterback keeper around the left side. Beautiful, beautiful night for football. We have been blessed with a great contest between these two teams, the number one, the number two squad in the Class A division in the All Nations Conference. The number one team with the football now will hand off up the middle. Valandra being brought down by the Warrior defense. 3.25 and counting. Clock winding down. Three fifteen. Clock continues to run. 
Ball is on the Warrior 27. Crow to the line of scrimmage for Todd County. We'll keep the ball and swing out to the right side. Got a bunch of guys out in front of him. Warrior defense. Made the quarterback run back up in to the teeth of the defense. Defensive end doing a good job there. And that is Adam. Eagle Shield, Sarge, back on the field. Belanger on the run. You can hand off right up the middle. Oh, man! Whoa! 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 Big hit in the middle. Alexio Eagle and Rocky Weidman. Wow. Looking like Atwater in the hole with Christian Okoye. See, there's a throwback. <laughs> the Nigerian nightmare. Weidman met by the smiling assassin. Alexio Eagle. Another handoff up the middle. Valandra. Muscling his way, the Warriors are there. We'll bring him down. 140 to go. Right there in the mix in the pileup, number 77, Deontay Eagle. Getting getting deep now. 130 to go. Ball is on. Jeez, that ball is third and two. Ball is on. Yeah. Right about the five, maybe about the seven or eight. Warriors need another stand right here, right now. 110 to go. Keeper up the middle. Crow will be brought down before. Before he reached the goal line. Woo! Clock can, is stopped. No, that clock should continue to run. It does. Okay. Under a minute now. Crow made it to about the one foot line. The six inch line. The one fry bread line. Crow to the line of scrimmage. Will he keep it? No, he'll do a little reverse. Valandra sweeping around the left side. Valandra diving into the end zone. 35 seconds on the board. Ty Valandra. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Falcons to the line of scrimmage now. Extra point try on the way. Crow will roll out to the left side, being chased by Eagle. Eagle can't get to him. Crow. Into the end zone. Extra point try for two. Successful. Brings the score now. Falcons. 30. Standing Rock Warriors, 22. Falcons methodical with the football down the field. Went to the bread and butter. Ran the football down the field. Ran the clock as well. Warriors, 35 seconds away. They need... To score a touchdown, they need an extra point try for two. Warrior faithful, they need you now.
Hold the phone. Timeout taken by uh, the Falcons. I think they're looking in the backfield to see um, who was back there. Was it going to be uh, Johnny Luger or was it going to be who was going to be back there to receive? I believe. I mean, that's what I'd want to know. <laughs> Where the heck is Johnny Luger if you're Todd County? But do not sleep on every single warrior in that backfield ready to receive that kick. Every single one of them is a player. Every single one of them. You can get that football and make something happen for Standing Rock. They got 35 seconds to do it. 30 to 22 is the score. 35 seconds away. Standing Rock needs a whole lot of things to go right. And they got to go right, right now. The kick is away, deep into the corner. And out of bounds. Is it out of bounds? No. It is out of bounds. Okay, they'll bring it back out. That looked like it. They're going to say it caromed into the, into the end zone. Thirty five seconds to go now. Thirty to twenty two is the score in the battle between one and two. Todd County just scored a touchdown to take the lead and the extra point try for two was successful. Warriors. This is one of the moments like a statement to be made. If they're able to score with 35 seconds. They got Johnny Luger. We'll handle the quarterback. Wide to the left. They got three guys out there. Split wide was uh, Bradley. And Weddle. Time out on the field once again, taken by Todd County. We'll just keep it here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Shout out to KLND Radio, DJ Short at the house, in the lodge at 89.5 Little Eagle, South Dakota, 100,000 watts of power on your FM dial. Also, shout out to the live ticket fellas and Betsy, Troy, the boss man, Jody, the man behind the scenes, the all important wizard, Nathan. And everybody say, say a prayer for Troy, our friend Troy down there at Live Ticket. He's a Raider fan, so we're back to. Action. Warriors at the line of scrimmage. Luger with the snap. Luger looking over the defense. Got room to run. Now he's in trouble. Running to the sideline but fall out of bounds. We'll stop the clock. You got 28 seconds to go now. Falcons just went deep. <laughs> they just sent their defenders in a zone style. Second and 11 now. Johnny with the snap. Looking down the field. Pass over the top. Going to find Baheeler and he'll step out of bounds. Going to pick up the first down, I believe. Is that enough for the first down? Mm, wow, it was close. He looked like he grabbed that first. No, it's third down now. Twenty-two seconds on the board now. Warriors going to need to pick up first down to keep this game continued, and they also need to get down there in twenty-two seconds. Luger with the snap. Luger 
quickly now down the field. Luger. Going to find Lance Bradley, and he'll be out of bounds to stop the clock, but hold on. We got a penalty flag. 14 seconds. Oh, man. It's going to go against Standing Rock. It is a holding penalty. Inopportune time for a holding penalty against the Warriors. We'll push him out of bounds, push him uh, back five yards. Or correction, uh, 10 yards on the hold. <sighs> Makes it third down now. 14 seconds to go in the game. Lovejoy split wide to the left side here. Luger looking down the field. Luger, Lance Bradley. Lance Bradley with the reception. Over the top of the defense. Stop the clock. Timeout taken by the Warriors. Bradley got past the defense. Able to pick up the first down. Decision time now for Standing Rock. You keep playing the sideline. The reception, and then uh, step out of bounds quickly. You have seven seconds to get this ball down the field. Do a quick 15-yard uh, out, maybe. You don't want to chew up too much time to get that uh, pick up the first down and get you close to the end zone. And give you a, give yourself a, a hail mary try. If you get around that 45, 40-yard line for Standing Rock with seven seconds to go. So they'll need to pick up at least 10, 15 yards here and get out of bounds and stop the clock. It's a whole lot to happen. Luger going to roll out. Look down the field. Luger in trouble. Johnny in trouble now. Six seconds. Five sec. Three, two, and that's going to do it. That is the ball game. Todd County Falcons close the door. Great contest between these two incredible teams in the Class A All Nations Conference. The final score Todd County Falcons 30, Standing Rock Warriors 22. Great, great contest between the number one and number two teams here in this All Nations Conference. Great job tonight, gentlemen. And they lined it up and shook hands. Todd County taking care of business here and close out the Standing Rock Warriors attack. Great, great game tonight. Congratulations. Todd County Falcons, they're going to hang on to that number one seed. Warriors will be number two, I believe. There shouldn't be too much of a shakeup at the top. We'll be on the road tomorrow. We're going to head home right now. It is 8 o'clock. We're going to head, head home, get to bed, get up early, get on the Highway 12, and head on out east to Chios Pazina. For a 2 o'clock game, McLaughlin on the road at 2 o'clock from Teos Pazina. And we'll be, uh, we'll be on the road and we'll be bringing you that contest live as well in the All Nations Conference. McLaughlin looking to move up in the conference in that uh, 4 and 6 seed range somewhere in there. They got a, they got a game tomorrow against uh, Teos Pazina. So we'll be on the road for that. Congratulations once again to the Todd County Falcons. The final score, Todd County 30 Standing Rock Warriors, 22. Playoffs. Playoffs now. Playoffs begin. With that, we want to send a shout-out to Kale and D. 
Shout out to Live Ticket and the boys down in winter, Nathan, at the house, making sure everything is up and running here on the computer, and uh, all of the <laughs> and everything that I'm trying to do and trying to do correctly. Thank you for keeping everything uh, the way it should be. With that, we will uh, we'll end this live stream. Shorty at the station. I want to send out a special shout out to you, brother. I don't didn't want to forget you. I lo I forgot you last time. <laughs> didn't want to forget you this time. Thank you, DJ Short. And with that, we'll end this live stream. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Final score: Stanny Rock coming up short. Todd County thirty. Warriors twenty-two. Yes, sir.